the tradition of having a wreath with candles during Advent started back in the Middle Ages as part of a spiritual preparation for Christmas. The candles around the wreath represent the different weeks leading up to Christmas, and in each week we are called to reflect on something. What is it that we should reflect on? Well, each candle on the wreath has its own theme for that week, and in the first week we're called to reflect on hope. But what is hope? Often I feel like we think that hope is like a wish, right? We say things like, I hope you do well in your game today, or I hope that you pass your test, or I hope all goes well for you. And hope becomes nothing more than a wish. And maybe for the culture, the secular world, that is the case. But for us Catholics, hope is nothing like a wish. The Catechism of the Catholic Church says that Christian hope is the theological virtue by which we desire the kingdom of heaven and eternal life as our happiness, placing our trust in Christ's promises and relying not on our own strength, but on the help of the grace of the Holy Spirit. The part that stands out to me is that placing our trust in Christ's promises. One of the best ways that I've heard hope described to me is that hope is trust in God extended into the future. And what is the foundation of that hope? It's God's promises to us. And I think that this ties into the first week of Advent so well because that first candle that we light at the start of Advent is also referred to as the prophecy candle. And just like how Jesus fulfilled the prophecies in the Old Testament, we are assured that God always fulfills his promises that he has made to us. There are over 8,000 promises through, throughout scripture of God's faithfulness and protection and loving care for his people. Here are just a few of some of my favorite promises from God. You know, he says, behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. In the world, you will have trouble, but take courage, have overcome the world. For nothing will be impossible with God. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. During Advent, we take time to contemplate the love of God that would send his only begotten son into the world to save us. And we realize that God makes good on his promises. We can place our hope in him. God's promises are the anchor that hold us onto the Lord in times of trouble. That's why for centuries, the anchor has been the Christian symbol of hope. Hope is not merely a good wish. Hope is a supernatural virtue that ties us onto God and carries us through this life until we finally attain the fulfillment of that hope and the promise of eternal life. But what, but what about what's going on right now in my life? Many people are facing big challenges in their lives these days. I'm not sure what challenges you are facing personally in your life, but, but God knows. He cares. He has a promise to meet every one of those challenges. During this first week of Advent, take time to contemplate God's faithfulness. Think about His promises and allow the hope that those promises give rise to to grow within you. Then take the light of that hope out to the world that is desperately in need of encountering our Lord's light in this present darkness. For as John tells us at the beginning of his gospel, he says, the darkness cannot overcome his light. God bless.